Hey, YouTube family. Welcome back or welcome to another episode of Recruiting Board. Week number nine I am uploading here. I'm Alex Agraw. You already know who it is because you guys have been watching me all season long. I just got out of work and I'm going straight to a football game. Not going to miss what I think is going to be the best showdown in all of New England again on this channel. So today we are going to Milton Academy versus BBNN out here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Guys, it is so gorgeous out here. Had such a great drive in. Right now, I am in the parking lot. I'm actually waiting on Brandon. He's going to be doing the footage for most of it. As always, his links are going to be below. So y'all go hit him up for any work if you're out here in Massachusetts or you want to pay for him to come and see you. My man's one of the best here in the state. Anyways, but today it's the battle of the unbeatens out here in Cambridge. Both Milton Academy and BBNN are undefeated heading into this game. And this really has been a build up the entire season because I think everybody kind of knew that both these teams, this was how it was going to be, that they were both going to be undefeated entering this game. There's going to be so many players we're going to highlight. It's going to be a great day here on Recruiting Board. The playoffs just started for Massachusetts, so there's going to be a lot of high-quality content on here these next few weeks. So do yourselves a favor and subscribe and join the RB Army. Right now, we're 650 strong. It's been such a great season. Like this video, share it on all social media platforms. Both teams are going to have a ton of dudes that we're going to be highlighting before the game. So be on the lookout for a couple of them. Help me blow them up. Help me get them exposure. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Giving these kids the recognition that they do deserve and capturing the moments for them to enjoy the rest of their lives, like for their families to enjoy the rest of their lives. This is what I'm going to say before we go on the field is that you might read a Boston Globe article about this one time. You'll watch this video for the rest of your life. I guarantee it. So again, subscribe to the channel. Join the RB Army. I'll see you on the field. I got to get ready for the game. You know how it is. All right, so let me give you some backstory about this game. So last time I was here, Milton Academy was undefeated and BBNN only had one loss. And BBNN at half was up 21 to 7 and Milton Academy couldn't move the ball. All of a sudden, the second half rolls around. BBNN couldn't get on, on Milton's field while Milton Academy was just running up the score. It ended up being, I think, 42 to 21, the final score. All those unanswered points. They didn't have a season in 2020. So since then, BBNN has been looking at their chops to get a hold of Milton Academy. And there's even more at stake during this game, guys, because both teams are undefeated. Let's talk about some players before this game. We got BBNN. So BBNN, obviously, we've talked about Tyler Martin multiple times on this channel. But now we're going to talk about Bo McCormick, the freshman who's been balling out literally since his first game here at BBNN. He's only a freshman. He's going to continue to get better and better. Shane Hannafin, he's going to be dishing out. Shane is a very underrated quarterback here in Massachusetts. Declan Falmer. Declan Falmer is a senior here, offensive lineman. If you are a coach out there, Division II college, Division I AA, you guys need to be looking at Declan Falmer. That guy is an absolute beast. All right, so a couple players from Milton Academy that we need to spotlight before the game. Andrew Rapelia, he's, been, he's a linebacker that's been getting a ton of offers from some big name schools. We got Jack Smith, another linebacker for Milton who's gonna be making plays today. We got Matthias Fowler, who I know will be making plays. I saw him at a camp this What's summer. Up? Oh, What's I'm up? Sorry. Oh, are no, you good, sir? Hey, thanks for being in the video. And he was making so many plays at Merrimack College camp. And then we got Duncan McDonald. Duncan McDonald's a guy who's an offensive lineman. He has offers from like UNH, Brown, a couple D1 AA schools. I've been following Duncan for a while. He's homies with my cousin Nick, so shout out to Duncan. Let's get into the highlights. This is Friday night. Oh no, we can't say Friday Night Lights, Brain, no crap. <laughs> Friday Guys, afternoon. Oh, actually, no, we'll do that. Friday afternoon highlights. Let's, oh my God, we got to work on that. Let's get into the highlights. And of course, he's still recording. Oh my God, bro. Man, 
The reason why Brando's doing this is because last whoa. week. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 a couple of things real quick, guys. We have a couple of things. We have a things at all times, okay? We have a taunting violation. Taunting is any physical or verbal gesture towards an opponent. It's not tolerable. It's 15 yards. So it's a pretty heavy price that targets the opposition. I don't care if you're exchanging Christmas gifts. I don't want to hear it. Huh. Also, it's a football field, not a street one, so I'm not going to be that all understood, guys? Awesome. Yeah. See, baby? Okay. See, you, baby? Hey, hey, hey. I already just said that. You guys don't want to start one with me, I'll tell you right now. Wrong guy. Oh, that's why. Oh, ball! Oh, what a play! Get in. Oh, uh, he's in. That's a touchdown. Oh my God. Wow. He kept chugging it, kept chugging. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Evie and Ed can punch it in here. It's 15 seconds. Oh, it's right there.
Get it, Bo, get it. Get in, Bo. Oh, wow. Is he gone? expecting to get that many? What was the game plan coming in? I mean, we found the ball a lot. We've been running a lot all week, but we also got some great wide receivers. So we were on the pass and the and the run. I'm thankful for my line and thankful for this team. Great win. Um, some personal fouls early, a lot of excitement. You know, did you, how big of a game and a big now, how big of a win was this for you guys? I mean, we've been looking forward to this, I mean, since the off season. We worked so hard, especially not having the season for them last year. Um, and it just feels great, man. We've been waiting for this opportunity and uh, came through. How were you guys able to just get so open at the end of the day? We, um, our line, I mean, you probably see them, they're huge. And just so much hard work goes um, in, the, in the practice week. Uh, the team's really close. We watch a lot of film. We have a phenomenal coaching staff. And just, you know, going over the runs every week, I mean, we stick with our game plan and we're a running team. So you know, just, it just worked out the way we like to. Those last couple first downs when you made it interesting, were those kind of the hardest at the end there? Yeah, I mean, a lot of pressure, <laughs> a lot of pressure there. Um, a few first downs to, to close, to seal the deal. It's unbelievable, this atmosphere, everything's what we've been waiting for, so they win it. Great, thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, you might have had a fumble, but how did you get that out of your head? I mean, I always just keep my head up. I like to move on to the next thing. I've been taught my whole life, you know, once you make a mistake, just keep your head up, next play. And I know I could trust the line. I wasn't worried. Trust our defense, and it worked out fine. So I'm not worried about that. <laughs> so what's to expect the rest of the season? Just domination. I mean, we got Nobles next week. We got we to gotta look forward to them. I know we're excited now, so we'll celebrate celebrate tonight. And then, I mean, we're back at it on Monday. I love it. You want to shout out your family, your friends watching? Yeah, I mean, shout out my, shout out my dad, Dennis. Um, he's here, a supporter. My mom, my brother down at Wesleyan. Good luck to him tomorrow. I'll be there playing at Williams. Um, and just, you know, thanks to everyone, all my friends and family. Thank you. I love it. Where can I find you? What's your social medias? Uh, my name is Keith Nally. Uh, Twitter is Keith Nally5. Instagram is Keith Nally underscore. Okay. Shout out to our crew more. Let's go, baby. I love it. The big man, Duncan. Right there, and this was a offensive line domination. Let's go. Every week. Uh, every week, we just need to do what we need to do up front. I mean, they have big boys, but I think. Our O line, our D line too, best unit in in the league. Look at the score. We dominate every week. I mean, that's what we needed to do today, and I think we did it. I mean, they couldn't stop us on offense. It was phenomenal. So you were just mentioning, and on my poll on Instagram, by the way, who do you think was picked? Oh, BBNN. They voted for everyone. Votes for BBNN. That's what I was saying. Uh, last week they were voting Belmont Hill. Week before that they were voting for Govs. Come on. 
Well, you guys, so what does it mean to you guys always come in the underdogs, but you're undefeated at the end of the day? Yeah, I mean, we know we're not the underdogs. It, it puts a real chip on our shoulder. Um, and we're undefeated exactly like we planned. Um, so we just it's just doing what we need to do. I mean, it's, it's just fuel to the fire. We know what we're going to do. So here and here and you're not going to win, you're not going to do this, just gets us going more. Duncan, so what type of player would you describe yourself as, my friend, other than a paver? Nasty uh, and athletic. I like to move in space. Um, I, I like to use vision too, see, see guys come wide everywhere. I just like to be all over the field as much as I can. You know, you're a guy, obviously you're getting D1 traction. What's your message to some of these guys out here that want to play Division One football, you know, but might not have those looks? Put the work in, always. You have to be in the weight room, part of it. You have to be working on the field. Um, and it's believing in yourself too. I mean, even when they tell you you don't have this or it's not going to work like this, if you just show up every day, they can't deny you. You just got to keep knocking on the door every day. Put yourself out there. Does Nick Agrella need to lift more? Nick Agrella needs to lift more. He <laughs> needs to get in the weight room. And that's coming from me personally. <laughs> I might send that just to him. Send that to him. So you want to shout out your family, Duncan? Yeah, shout out to my mom. Shout out to my dad. He's always coaching me. Dad was a former tackle too on the old line, so he's always he's always in my ear. And shout out to my sisters, hope they're doing well right now. I wish they could be here with me. I call them. <laughs> I love it. And uh, what's to expect the rest of the season from Milton? We're going to be even better. Every week we've gotten better. Uh, we have Nobles coming up, and I think you know, we're going to be even more fired up than we are for this game. Nobles' biggest game of the year, so we're going to put them into the dirt, and then we got a bowl game, and we're going to do that too. And we're going to go undefeated. That's the plan. On Twitter, Duncan seventy Mac, um, and Instagram Duncan. That's D U N C N underscore. Follow those. And shout out to a crew boy, baby. Coach <laughs> Appreciate you, bro.